everyone, it's Jake Pimentel from Pime Technology, and today I'm checking out a Verizon AT8R C-band only small cell. Let's go ahead and take a look. Here is a full look at the Verizon C-band small cell. You can see at the bottom we have the electric as well as the site support cabinets. We have the remote radio and the cantenna at the top. This right here is the remote radio unit, which is made by Samsung. It supports C-band only, as this small cell is only C-band. That is what is so unique about this small cell. It is only C-band NR. There's no LTE on this small cell at all. So you can see the newer Samsung N77 radio right there. This right here is the antenna, which is an Omni antenna, also known as a CAN antenna for its CAN look. This supports 8T8R C-band. You can see the eight ports that are plugged in at the top. This also supports CBRS, 2100 megahertz, 1900 megahertz. But as I said, this is only a C-band small cell, so only the C-band ports are actually plugged in. And this is made by JMA. All right, so as you can see in Network Signal Guru app, we have a band 66 PCC and an N77 60 megahertz NR in the background. And the pretty cool thing is that it's still aggregating band two and band five, even off the macro that's half a mile away. And as you can see, the RSRP for the LTE is like, mm, it's okay, it's not bad, but you can see the C-band RSRP is negative 80, which is way better than what's coming off of the macro. And you can see that the PCIs are different too. That's PCI 137 for the macro for the LTE, and that's PCI 352 for the C-band. So they're coming from two different places. This is a C-band only small cell. And just to confirm, I'll show you, here's where I am, little dot right there, and this is the macro right here. And we can match the PCI of 137. So this is definitely, uh, the LTE is definitely coming off of the macro in the C-band N77 AT8R is coming off of the small cell next to me. So let's go ahead and run a speed test and see what kind of results we get off of this small cell. A lot of people were worried about Verizon using AT8R equipment instead of 64T64R equipment but there is really no need to be worried whatsoever. I've been getting anywhere between 700 megabits per second and 500 megabits per second on this small cell. I would say the average is probably around 600 megabits per second or so, which is incredible. The performance reminds me very much of the 64T, 64R equipment. So go ahead and run one more. We'll also go ahead and test out T-Mobile and AT&T in this location as well. They don't have any small cells. They just have macros serving this location. So we got 622 down, 54.7 up, 26 millisecond ping, 610 and 394 on the loaded latency. So this performance is very, very good. Very, very pleased with the performance coming off of this AT8R small cell. And I just ran another test off screen and that was 652 megabits per second down, 47.7 up, 26 millisecond ping and on the unloaded ping and then 603 and 6783 for the loaded pings. All right, so now we'll go ahead and pan on over to T-Mobile. They are running band 220 megahertz, N4180 megahertz, plus N4180 megahertz, and band 66, 20 megahertz. It's because nothing is running in the background. Uh, let me go ahead and run this in the background really quickly. That way I can show you that again. You can see N4180 plus 80, and then band 66, 20 megahertz. And this is the performance we're getting. So it's 200 megahertz total 
And as you can see, the speeds are very, very similar to Verizon. We have a 16 millisecond unloaded ping. T-Mobile's latency is really good in my area. 675 down, 9.8 up. And it looks like we have a loaded ping of 295 and 650. So that's uh, pretty good as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and see what AT&T is doing here. All right, so here we have AT&T. This is on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. T-Mobile is on the S22 Ultra and Verizon is on the Pixel 7. So AT&T just has their standard spectrum portfolio here, band two, band 66, band 12, and uh, N5, 10 megahertz. And so you can see the performance is okay. Uh, when you compare it to that of T-Mobile and Verizon, it looks not so great. Uh, but that's because they don't have any mid-band 5G NR in this location. So that's why it's not the best, but hey, it's still performing pretty decent for what they have. Looks like we got 89.8 down, 27.3 upload and a 40 millisecond unloaded ping, 513 loaded and 255 loaded on the uplink. So yeah, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, all performing pretty decent in this area, but AT&T could definitely use some mid-band spectrum. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do download a file or file download speed test. So we're gonna go ahead and download a one gig file and let's see how quickly that downloads on the C-band small cell. Wow, okay, so that download like butter. That was that was extremely quickly. So you can see that all that 600 megabits or so per second is actually getting used when uh, downloading files and, and doing normal daily things on your, on your phone. So that was super, super quickly. That probably downloaded in about 30 seconds or so. So I didn't wanna just test up close to the small cell. I also wanted to see what the range was like with the C-band 8T8R on the small cell. So I went ahead and went into a large grocery store, which is about a quarter of a mile away from the small cell. And to my surprise, I was able to get C-band throughout the entire grocery store, even in the middle of it. And I was still able to achieve around 200 megabits per second or so, which is really really good in terms of the signal i was getting in there you can see that the macro in the background wasn't getting very good signal either i was actually latching onto a low band signal for my phone so the fact that this c-band was reaching in there is awesome i think these c-band small cells are going to be really good for suburban and rural areas let's say a plaza like the one i was in with a lot of shops and buildings they want to have that capacity, but they can't really use millimeter wave because it's not going to reach indoors where a lot of people are using their phones while they're shopping or doing whatever. So C-band is like the perfect middle ground. It provides a lot of capacity and a lot of coverage. All right, that's going to be a wrap for this video. Pretty cool to see the uh, this Verizon C-band AT8R small cell in my area. Uh, I hope to see more of them coming soon. Hopefully they'll make it the standard for small cells. I think it's the perfect combination of capacity and coverage. As you can see, the coverage was pretty good, even with the AT-8R equipment, uh, very similar to AWS range. So I definitely hope that they start making this the norm for pretty much all of the small cells. It is a great capacity booster and it has really good coverage too. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like up down below. Also comment down below what you think of these new Verizon C-band small cells and if you think they're gonna be a game changer in terms of capacity and coverage. Also be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for my channel so you are notified when I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching. Smile because you and technology are amazing. And peace out.